I ain't kept my shit back. <laughs> Mike 
weekly yeah. on screen. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and in my head, that was like two years ago. But because of... That that actually was, actually. Oh. <laughs> actually. Because <laughs> I've been on it on mic for... Longer. For longer. Yeah. But I think on camera was... That might have been two years ago. Oh, so two, yeah. three years ago. Yeah, you're right. We are good at what we do around here. Yeah, you know what we do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like two, three yeah. years ago. Yeah. So, yeah. How do you feel about... Obviously, I know you evidently started with the attempt to get to be behind the scenes and more produce and give your two sets. That transition between off-camera to on-camera mm. and now being, like, part of, like, the face of mm. 90s babies. How does that feel? Like, how was that for you? It's... It was... It felt natural, do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, just because of the Yeah, like, I've known them for years, isn't it? So, I, I met Fred through the podcast. I've known Tem for longer. Okay. And Tem and Fred went to school together. Oh, Yeah, so sick. Tem lived in my block, so I knew Tem. Okay. And then when he started the podcast with Fred, that's when I met Fred. Are you all Southsiders? Yeah, all yeah. Southside. Yeah, yeah. Kenneth and yeah. I, <laughs> Tem's side there. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're good juice, we're good juice. <laughs> But yeah, so when uh, when it came to me filming for them, mm. it was a thing where I just started doing my videography thing, mm. and I used to be like, yeah, man, just pay me like thirty pound a week, like wow. literally, like because yeah. it was like they were filming once a week. Uh, there was one point they even like, was renting the camera. I taught them to edit, right. so because I was like, oh, you lot do the editing or whatever. You mm. pay me thirty pound, I'll just come sit down, mm. turn on the cameras, mm. give you lot the footage in it. Right. So yeah, it just kind of developed from there, and it was like every time we had, they had a podcast, after the podcast, me and them would have another podcast about me telling them they're chatting shit on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> then it went on to me sort of saying one or two things whilst I'm recording, right? And people was obviously <laughs> like, I can't hear him, so they were like, Alright, cool, let's just give you a mic because people are complaining that they can't hear you. So that's when I got the mic. And then after that, I had no actual thought of, okay, yeah, now I've got a mic, I'm going to be part of the podcast. Right. It just kind of happened. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like, the more and more you're on it, I'm there every week. I mm-hmm. think the first time I even um, sat on the sofa, I can't remember why it was, or even the first episode I had a mic, I think it was like featuring VP. Oh, wow. Yeah, for a long own. time, it was like featuring VP. Yeah, so it was like, you. yeah, boy, I, I thought that's what it was. I'm a feature. I felt proud of that. I was like, yeah, man. <laughs> oh, my, yes. I got to feature on my way on. That was lit. <laughs> that was lit. <laughs> so, yeah, it just kind of developed from there. And then eventually it was like, oh, uh, you sit on the sofa. Mm. Um, I can't even remember why I sat on the sofa the first time. But I remember, I think me and Fred switched seats one time. Mm. And then everybody's like, oh, man. Yeah, man, you should sit on the sofa more. Yeah. And then gradually over time, it was just like, Do you know what? Just sit on the sofa. Just sit down. Yeah. Right. But the main reason why I wasn't on the sofa for so long mm. is because I used to use a Lumix okay. um, camera mm. and that times out every 30 minutes. Oh, uh, yeah. Obviously, the podcast is two hours, so yeah. I have to keep pressing and they record. Sure so when we got the Black Magics and you could just hit record and then, and that's when it was like, okay, cool. You, you can set up. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, a lot of people yeah. think it was like a, a mad, like strategic plan and all. Yeah. Nah, it's just what the equipment we had. We yeah, had to give it what we had. <laughs> <to> <laughs> do. That's what we had. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know the money just you start making money. That's when you start seeing more happening. More people in shot, right. different settings. Hmm. Let's talk about also. You know, I've gone through a couple studios. I feel like from mm-hmm. when it was just. Um, Fred and Tenny, and now you, I mean, your most recent one, you've got your whole setup, brands everywhere. We, do you know, I saw that studio, I was like, this is my aim. I want my studio like this. We, we aim to inspire, you know? We aim, <laughs> aim, <yes. laughs> we aim to inspire, we love to see it. What was, how does that self development work? Because I feel like a lot of people that interact with me through podding and whatever, they aspire to make what they do into a business. Or they aspire to level up and start building a framework around what they do. Do you not feel like, you know, the pod's been running for X amount of years, mm. let's say what, eight years, six mm-hmm. years, whatever. That growth and development, how did that lead you lot into having a conversation of look like we could do this proper mm. and build a career, like build something off of this that could 
That's a good question. Um, let me think about it. Because <laughs> it's like, it's, it's not something that, obviously I think this year is probably the first year that we've actually sat down and said, here's our plan for the year. Mm. Before okay. that, it was just kind of like, ah, man, we're doing this thing, we're lit. Sick. Do you know what I mean? Like, 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 and we enjoy it. Yeah. So regardless, yeah. we're always going to be talking, like we're friends, like, mm. like those are my brothers. So regardless, we're chatting. If we're recording it and putting it out there and people are loving it, let's just carry on doing that. Right. Obviously, when it became a thing where we realised, okay, from the get-go, we thought we, we knew we could monetize a podcast. Like we had seen what America's doing and all of that stuff. But it just wasn't big enough here for us to be doing it. And obviously, at the time, we weren't big enough. So as you grow, naturally, more people want to get involved. Right. And when more people want to get involved, that's when the bags start coming. <laughs> I want bigger bags, listen. <laughs> but, you don't uh, speak as well. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that obviously that's when it starts to grow and then yeah. yeah. Eventually you realise, mm-hmm. okay, if we want to do this properly, properly, mm-hmm. we've got to go all in. Sick. So it was uh, like every every year as well, we always invest in ourselves. Like right. all the venues that we've done, like it was, like before it was coming straight out of Tim and Fred's pocket, like because obviously they were the podcast so right. they'll pay for their venues right uh, to do live shows all of that stuff right everything paid for out of their pocket, their pocket yeah. out of nine to five jobs mm. do you know what i mean and a little bit of youtube money that was coming in do you right. know what i'm saying so, at the time. so it wasn't like we got like big investors and all of that stuff it was literally Trust me. we work in nine to five and then whatever's coming from the nine to five put back into the show yeah right. obviously when i joined i think it was more coming from the YouTube, so then it was more able to be like, okay, let's use the YouTube money for that. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? So me personally, I've never had to, apart from buying my own equipment to film and that, I'm not. Invested. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So yeah. then right. I'm just helping to develop the visuals and create. But that's necessary though, because yeah. without all that, if you have someone invested on it from a business perspective and then you have someone invested from a creative perspective, because that's what you're doing, you're investing in equipment, all the technical stuff, mm-hmm. <clears throat> keeping up to date with like the editing techniques, all of this yeah. producing, like even figuring out you drop at this time on this day. And day yeah, yeah, it's, it's the important. time. It's the time. Like it's people important. underestimate how much time and effort it takes to run a podcast. Mm. Like a lot of people think, yeah, I'm gonna start a podcast, and I want cameras and all of that stuff. And then uh, a videographer you wanna hire tells you their price, and you're thinking, what? Yes. Man, that's the price, man. That's the price, price, man. And obviously, with me being part of the podcast, Mm. obviously, I came to a point where I'm not charging them to. Yeah. That's that's my podcast. You're in it now. So now I have to put the time in. So yeah, it's 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 just a process, isn't it? So So. what were you what were you doing um, when you were pre product let's say production, and then when you went onto screen? Where you working around the nine to five, or yeah. were you always in the career, like the thing? So, but my, my, my nine to five was sort of, so basically, quick backstory, mm-hmm. when um, me, Tem and Fred all used to work in the same place. Okay. But so, so Fred got Tem the job at this place, mm-hmm. and then um, Tem got me the job at the place. Mm-hmm. But by the time I had joined, Fred had left. <laughs> So, yeah, I'm going to say left. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to say left. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he, he was no longer there. Yeah, so so then it was just me and Tem there. Yeah. And then um, eventually Tem left. Yeah. And then it was just me. And then eventually I left. So we, we all left. <laughs> it, yeah, we left all left. Time, yeah, but when one. I left there, um, it was around the time where I started VP. So VP is Venture Promoter. Yeah. My whole thing was that like, I'm gonna I'm gonna promote people's ventures. I wasn't mad creative with the name. It was venture promoter. I'm gonna promote people's ventures. That's it. Just straight like that. Even so. ventures is a big word to me. To creative, you get to please. Yeah, yeah. I haven't heard that word in a while. Yeah, you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah this was a long time ago, wasn't it? That was creative. That was creative. I think that it was creative. Yeah. Like, yeah. So obviously, when I started that. Mm. um I bought a camera from like CEX or somewhere like that, one of those second hand shops. Yeah. Cause I was like, oh, I want to create an Instagram, but I don't know how I'm going to get the content for the gram. Right. I'm going to have to go to these shows and all of these events and take pictures for myself. Right. 
Okay. So I started off as a uh, photographer. Sick. So I was going around doing all of this stuff. Shout out Suspect as well, yeah. Suspect on TV. Mm-hmm. Um, there was one time, he knows my cousin, like he's fam. So like, he got my cousin's camera and gave it to me. So I'd go do like little shows with him or whatever. Whatever he was doing, show, I might just roll just with him. him yeah. Take Sick. pictures there or whatever. Then um, I started emailing people. I think I emailed Koji at one point mm. and I did Koji's live show Sick. and he used my pictures, isn't it? So it was like, this is lit, I'm hooked. And, but these times I'm doing it all for free. Oh yeah. Obviously, yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah, trying yeah, to build yeah. the, the platform and all of that. That's, I'm saying this because a lot of people think, yeah man, I'm doing this. I'm me, where's the peas? <laughs> like, yeah. Nah, there's no peas, man. It's just emailing and saying, can I come for free? 100%. So I can take a picture just so I can post it on my gram. Or just send it to you so you can use it. Put my watermark on there. Yeah. Or <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I was gassed. Like, I remember, I, like, Koji is the one that kind of made me feel special. Sick. And he, I, like, I think I told him this at, at, at some point, but at the time, obviously, I didn't know him. Mm. But he posted the pictures I took of him and um, Ray Black, it was. Sick. And I think that year, they were both Mobile nom- nominated. Love so I was like, yeah, man, I take pictures of well, mobile. No, 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 not charging big bucks yet, obviously, but man can at least do yeah, that. Yeah, right, your bills. Yeah, yeah man. So then um, I think the videography came from um, Tem and Fred wanted to start vlogging. Ah. Yeah, so yeah. obviously I was their friend with the camera. Yeah. So I was like, ah, right, cool, I'll just film for you guys, whatever. Like, yeah. whenever we're going out, let's just vlog. So I think after that, Fred was like, all right, let's do visuals on the podcast. And me and Tem were like, Visuals for a podcast. Like, mm-hmm. At the time, it didn't. It wasn't. It wasn't a thing. It wasn't a thing. It was yeah. all audio. Yeah. So when it was like visuals for a podcast, Tem was like, "Nah, man." I was like, nah, "I'm not sure." Mm-hmm. But he's like, right, "Fuck it, let's do it." And when we started doing that, and when I started learning videography, that's when I was like, "Oh yeah, this is my bag." Yeah, this is the time. This is this is my bag. This yeah. Is yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you just sat there and I'm just waiting for five minutes. <laughs> Let me get a job in it, yeah. Mm-hmm. And 
for some reason, I was like, I don't want another regular nine to five. If I'm not doing videography, I'm not getting a job in it. These times I need to pee, so it was getting to a point where. Two retail jobs mm. plus podding plus freelance photography Mad. plus I'm a boxing coach. Yeah. I was like, all of this. Yeah. Just to be fed up, I quit everything. I was like, my next job has to be creative or I'm done. If I'm yeah. broke, I'm broke. Right now I'm self-employed slash unemployed slash self-employed. Mm. But we're here. But we're here. <laughs> That's all that matters, <laughs> Story show, he didn't have 
production. Not like that. Like I don't know. He did. He either wasn't focused enough to be like, let me put money behind it. But what he was offering, I was like, nah, it's not gonna work, work yeah. in it. But he gave me that opportunity. Then I, I filmed the um, actual award show. He paid me for that. Like, so he actually paid me to come and film the award show. Mm -hmm. He paid me for my video to be the official video mm -hmm. of the award show to promote it and all of that stuff. So that opportunity there made me think, oh shit, I'm actually kind of cold. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. And then from that, slapped it on my CV. And then I got my job in um, Netta Porter, which I've just left. So Netta Porter is like a massive fashion high fashion company in it so i was doing a, a product video production for them oh sick. yeah so I, when and that was like it, it all happened so quickly mm. and only because i had been like okay let me just go do this urban music awards thing even though they're not going to pay me i'm going to put something out mm. and we'll see what happens in it mm -hmm. and from that it was just like bang 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 they saw it at no point and was like oh yeah we like that video coming for an interview smash my interview like my manager now is even a fan of the podcast like all oh, my oh, former manager yeah, yeah well. she's a fan of the podcast <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so like, yeah man it's just do you know what that shows me it shows me how important it is to have someone that believes in you mm. because no matter how much you might believe in yourself yet until you have someone in the industry that you respect or in doing what you would want to do or something in and around that nature and they show that they believe in you and they give you opportunities, mm -hmm. the way it's then it's up to you. Yeah. If you really believe in your game, yeah. you're gone. You're gone. You're yeah, gone. trust me. Like, I say it all the time. I, I used to have like really bad imposter syndrome mm -hmm. where I just feel like, no, nah, I'm not good enough. Yeah. That like, I don't know why, but it just used to, it's a part of me. Mm -hmm. Like, I still, it flares up to this day. Mm -hmm. like, I, I said something very similar to <clears throat> Fred when I had Fred on my podcast. And I said to him, I was like, I mean, I've been doing the pods for not that long. I started during lockdown, maybe a year or maybe two, mm. you know, lockdown time and it's already been good to see like yeah. double minus so like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, a couple of years left like, exactly. like, exactly. how many years in We're not sure. We're not sure, but we're here. Um and I what the way people have found my platform is purely because I have made it my mission to network with the people that I respect in my industry mm. and get something from that, whether it's like advice, whether it's like, like before I even started my pod, I got in touch with people like Chucky and mm. all of them lot, and they believed in me off the bat, they mm. were just like, do your thing. Like even speaking to Fred and having him on the platform, I'm like, you're not your big mate's baby show, you know? Yeah, like, that's what someone do, you know? <laughs> you know like, yeah, I'm 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 I think when I had Fred and I was on like 800 jobs. Yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? And it's and I think for me, my biggest thing is in my in my heart, I know what I want to do mm -hmm. and I know I can do it. Mm -hmm. But it's that level of like, I don't know if the, the industry is going to accept me. I don't know if the people are going to like me. Mm -hmm. I don't know if the audience is going to take to what I'm going to do. Because yeah. I'm a film director. Okay. I'm, that's my thing. Like, I'm yeah. a creative director, film director. I've always been behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And then presenting whatever this is a big step then it's a big step this I'm, is massive think, you don't know what this is my face <laughs> well, I understand <laughs> this is my face <laughs> this is this is this is my face because I have suffered <laughs> yeah I have suffered <laughs> I have suffered for a long time it was getting worse and worse and we're here but my the whole point is to say that to have somebody that like one person to be like you know what mm -hmm. I see what you're trying to do you're young in this game, like you're not making bread from this game, you're maybe a year in, you're just finding yourself. Mm -hmm. Let's bring you in, let's do some work, let's see how you can do it, and have that knowledge around you and that respect makes a very big difference. Mm, it does. Yeah. I'd say for you though, because obviously where, the way we met was what got me to be like, do you know what? Yeah. But it's, that's what I'm saying. You have to be personable as well, like yeah. you're a very likable person. Like, oh. I met you once and I was like, oh, she's cool. Yeah. Ah, she wants me to come on the podcast. I, at the time, I didn't even know what your podcast was. Do you know what's so funny? This is a little context, a little backstory. Yeah. Uh -huh. So obviously, I'm there now. I don't know where we're going to be, by the t-shirts or not. I think it was, yeah, upstairs by the t-shirts. So we're upstairs, we're at Gymshark. Shout out Gymshark for inviting me down. Mm. Um, me and my girl, she modelled for them, right? Okay. So we're just looking, I'm looking at people that I know. <laughs> I'm just looking at people that I recognise. <laughs> and I'm 
I'm gonna go speak to everyone. <laughs> that was my goal. I was like, today's day. Straight like that. Everyone's here. I saw you. I said hello. Yeah. <laughs> I just went up. That's me. Like I feel like with the with what I'm trying to do, I have to be like that. Mm-hmm. I have to be. I have to go up to like, oh my god, how are you? Da, 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 da. And just chit chat and network and be genuine mm-hmm. because that's what character is what carries your. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that I've got, like in, in the past, was just off me just being a nice guy. Mm-hmm. Like a lot of people would be like, "Oh yeah, man, you're cool." Do you mm-hmm. know what I mean? So it was like, your character can really take you it far. Can really take you far. Yeah. But it's you just got to. I think it's a thing where just believe in yourself because even with me, yeah, even when I go and do those things in life, I'm like, I don't want to come across in the way. Mm. Well, I don't want to go up to these people and have them think that I'm just some. I'm the same way. I'm some fan. I'm I'm the same way. Like I'm I'm really bad at it to, to this day because yes. I, I, especially because I don't know if it's because I grew up as a black boy from South London. I'm like anti being a beg. Yeah. <laughs> you know yes. what I mean? But <laughs> when people come to talk to me, I don't think, oh, you're a beg. But for some reason, I think when I go do it, it's gonna be like unless I genuinely am like a fan of you or whatever. Mm-hmm. If I see somebody, I'm a fa- I'm, and I'm a fan, yeah, I'll be like, yo, like thing. respect. I'm a fan. Da, 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 do your thing. Yeah. But, but I want to keep it moving, yeah, even though in my heart I'm like, damn, like, do you want to go to the yeah. club together? Yeah. <laughs> let's have a dinner. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
Mm-hmm. Um, we slept alone and we continue alone. <laughs> Until someone wants to marry me. And then we go together. And then we go together. Do you get it? Yeah. Oh, wow. Married life. Yeah. Chat to me. How is that? It's good. It's good. Yeah. Like, yeah, it's really good. Like, even, even from, because I met her when I was in my unemployed stage. Like, did not even self employed. I was unemployed Count. when I met her. I'm just gonna. Yeah, <laughs> you can clap for her. Yeah, I guess it's fine for you. She's so, she's so visual, <laughs> right? so, uh, <laughs> Yeah, because yeah, yeah. um, she's the one that put me onto Amazon. So, her yeah. brethren, I think. Um, she, her brethren was doing um, this Amazon Flex thing, mm. but at the time I was just like, Yeah, I'm not getting a job on to the mm. And she was like, All right, cool, I respect it. Mm. So, um, she put me onto this Amazon thing, and then from there, that's what's obviously been the backbone for me being able to develop my craft and kind of become who I am. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So, so what you're really yeah. saying is you're over that's what she would like to hear. You've heard it. <laughs> <laughs> You've heard that's it. what she would like to hear. Yeah. But even yeah. even to the point of me getting a, a job in general mm. is because she was like, "Yeah, I want to get a house." Sick. So I was like, "Shit, I can't do that on on whatever." Oh, on I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of it. So it's like, "Ah, right, cool. Yeah. I need to go get a salary so we yeah. can go get a house." Yeah. And that's what even led to me putting myself out there with the Urban Music Award. So I do always like. Give her a little credit. Sick. But obviously, I had to drive for myself. Oh, my God. You know, they always do that at the end of the day. No, I'm joking. No, I, obviously, I, I, I feel like I don't do an interview no, yeah. like where I don't bring her up. Yeah, like, if you're asking me about my life, I have to. Because mm. it's, it's been important. Do you f- exactly. So, mm. do you feel like the level of importance of having a partner? In the industry that you're operating now and the level of success, inshallah, I, mean, I don't know, I believe in God, so I'm going to bless it regardless, mm-hmm. um, that you're in. How important is it to have that balance at home, to have that partner at home? It's important. It's important. Not to say it doesn't come with its challenges, because mm. she also met me as a videographer. Right. She didn't meet me as... So that transition. That transition is yeah. like, she's dealing with it fine, but obviously... It's not what she signed up to. It's not what she signed up to. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Right, so now when I'm... Okay. So, yeah, but obviously she's dealing with it fine, but it comes with its, like... But this is (laughs) what... A lot of the stuff that I would want to do, she would probably be the one that's being like, yeah, you can do it. Mm. And like you were saying before, it's important to have somebody that believes in you. And if I if I tell her something and she's like, mm, I'm not sure about that, mm. it, depending on how badly I want to do it, you'll think about it twice. I'll think about it twice. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's obviously some things that she might not get. Yeah, because but. Of yeah, exactly. Oh, she's not. Different. She's not part of that. So it's like, okay, I know you don't get that. So yeah. I'm just gonna have to sh- uh, show and tell. Do you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So once I, once I've done it, then I can be like, yeah, you see, I told you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not many, mm-hmm. but there's a few things where it's like, you see, it's working. Look, yeah, yeah. look. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, I get a little email from somebody, and it's yeah. like, no. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. He's right now. <laughs> 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 Like, 
don't want you to ruin your life. Yeah. Da, 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 go get like a proper job. Stability, you know. It's all stability, about stability. Yeah, yeah like yeah. So yeah. yeah, so it wasn't it wasn't an easy thing to deal with. Mm. But luckily enough. Now when you're taking mum's you know, shows, like, <laughs> <laughs> you can dress up nice, and you get the same pictures, all her sisters it's, and it's, brothers. It's and, good now, isn't it? Yeah. But bef- for a long time, for a long time, they didn't understand. In fact, until I even got my job um, uh, at Netta Porter, they didn't understand. Yeah. Because they don't understand the world of freelance. So yeah. even me leaving now, mm. they, luckily now, because they see the podcast, yeah. they can actually see yeah. it. So it's easier for us to be like, look, this is what we're doing. There's something tangible. To There's be something like, tangible. Yeah. yeah. Like, you see numbers. Yeah. Like, Sort of you can be like, okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. Even from when it was ten thousand views or whatever, mm-hmm. from that ten thousand to, to them, mm-hmm. what? Yeah. Ten thousand people well, watch this. Yeah. This is crazy. It's mad. It's mad. My dad 000. starts now sending me YouTube videos of things that he wants me to try and do. I mean, you rap. What do you yeah, know about YouTube? You just know what clips or what it looks like. You may be doing something. Yeah. Uh, so I said, I was like, I, I don't even do that. Like. You know what I'm saying? So we mad random videos of people in Ghana doing YouTube, and I'm like, I, that's not what I do, Dad. But yeah, like I, I see now he's like, uh, okay, opening up. He's, he's opening he's up. Exploring you know the world, yeah, yeah, yeah. learning. But yeah, family wise, that like, mum and dad, yeah, obviously took a while to get on board. Brothers and sisters. Uh, so I've got one brother, no, two brothers, one sister, uh, one full sister, and then I've got like. A bunch of half sisters as well, but okay, yeah, they're not really, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, but I'm like they were all, they all get it. Like my younger yeah. brother, obviously, he used to watch, or well, he watches our show, isn't it? So yeah, yeah. from my transition, he was like, right, like you're the boy. like, do you know what I'm saying? Because he was a fan of Terra Fred before. Oh, you know, you know it? I mean? <laughs> so it was like it was a cool thing, isn't I it? Love so that. yeah, it's all been it's all been good. My sister actually came to our first. To her first live show, the last one we just did. I love that. The first that. time she was able to come out, so that yeah. was nice. Yeah, she that that woman, bro. Yeah. She she like there's something about her that whenever she's like she makes me wanna cry. Oh, like, I hate you. Like yeah. her being proud of me yeah. makes me wanna cry. It's that one sibling. Yeah, 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 like, like everybody else being yeah. proud of me is cool, but yeah. when she's proud of me, is that like, so it means something. It I means something. <laughs> Yeah, she actually made me cry. Um, um, I said it on the podcast as well. She made me cry when uh, YouTube put up uh, the YouTube Black um, Creators list or whatever, and then they put us on the billboard or whatever. Yeah. And I sent her the build, billboard, and she didn't see it, so I called her and I was like, "You not see what I sent you?" Because yeah. I'm expecting her to have yeah, like, oh like, yeah, like, what? Like, Instantly. She didn't say nothing, so I'm now just talking to her mm-hmm. about um, mm-hmm. me, like I did. Um, uh, I, uh, no. <laughs> I was gonna say what I did, but yeah, no, I could do it, say what I did. I was doing some shooting in Egypt, okay. and then um, I was telling her about that, mm-hmm. and then um, she just started screaming. I was like, what, "Why are you screaming?" Mm-hmm. And she, then I clocked, like she starts saying, "Oh my god, that's my boy, that's, that's my big, boy." Yeah. And I've got uh, four nephews. That she got four sons. Nice. Started calling them. Was like, "Look at your uncle. Look at your I uncle." I love that. Bruh, I love it. I was in the car on the way to to Iceland or something to buy something for my missus. Mm. I sat in the car and I was like, "Stop it! You're gonna make me cry." These times, the tears they were, were already falling. They were on my bed line, bro. I was like, "No." Yeah, but yeah, man, love that girl. I love, love that cute. I love that. Mm. Do you know what? Yeah, I've had my my first taste of that, and it's so weird because. Like you said, when it comes, especially with parents, yeah, the understanding of like the digital world period mm. is just a myth to them. Mm-hmm. And I remember like my family have always kind of just thought it was a phase. Film, mm. ah, yeah, it's a phase. My dad always wanted me to be a teacher. Mm. Go and be a teacher. Teach English is easy. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? Go and do something productive. You're like, you say to me, do something good. And I was like, I want to do film. Started podding and my films went into festivals, started doing all this stuff. That's cool. Now I'm getting recognized. Now my stuff's getting picked up. Um, I got um, interviewed like on live TV for the first time a year ago Sick. because they picked up my work. Where, where was this? It was I was 
on an Islamic channel, mm -hmm. the, um, on Al Jazeera, mm -hmm. and I did. Al Jazeera, you were on Al Jazeera. Don't you just need to say I was on Al Jazeera? Yeah, Al Jazeera is. <laughs>
it's a, it's a no, beautiful country. Do you know what I love? I I think that's the charm of back home. Mm. Like like we've built back home. We've got our house back home, whatever. But like I go to my grandma's all the time. My grandma used to have a a circle on the floor as a toilet. Oh man! Like do you get what I'm saying? Mad. In the house, like they didn't have. They only got obviously they got the toilet seat a couple of years later or whatever. But I remember going to my grandma's house and watching telly, and they would announce at one pm that at three pm there's no water. That's crazy. So you all, we all have those, you know those big, yeah, big yeah, like, yeah, tanks, tanks yeah, that yeah, you have, yeah. we had them in every room, we yeah. all fill up everything. And then all of a sudden, at 7 p.m., the lights go out, the, yeah. whole, the whole city is dark, yeah. put out candles. It's crazy, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, I remember when I went when I was a child, so yeah. I was thinking, yeah, okay, these things were happening then. And then Nothing to go changed. back as an adult, and it's still happening, obviously not as frequent, yeah. but it's still happening. And I was just kind of like, oh, uh, these things kind of just be like, come on, please, man, just fix this up. But come you on. see, yeah, but you need to please. <laughs> that's, the point. that's why our parents yeah. left. But I was spoke because they live that life every day, and it's calm for them. Yeah. Like even people like my um, one of my cousins, he's moved back there um, with his. Well, not even back there. I think he was born. Here. He was born here, so mm-hmm. he's moved there with yeah. his family, like his wife and three kids, and they've Probably. moved there. Like so, I'm just like, I was looking at him like, oh, like you. He's gone, like, and yeah. he's living a great life. 100%. So it's like, I know it's possible, but at this point, anyway, with the pod, unless the whole. Oh, well, shit, gonna, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> hey, Man's okay. Why not? <laughs> Man, honest, honest, I tell people all the time, yeah. When I reach a certain point in my life, I'm taking conscious conversations back home. Right? Yeah. And we're going to make this shit international. So why and, not? And everyone's coming to Africa. <laughs> I don't mind as long as you're paying for the ticket. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 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 
more chance on a motorbike, man. Like, <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Oh wow. What is what has been your um let's say top three guests of last year? Of last year? Mm. Um I would say Charlie Mace. Sick. He's always like anytime that guy comes on, yeah. Just laughter. Constant laughter. Um who else would I say? Last year. Uh, the Madam Joyce episode that we did last mm-hmm. year, that one was hilarious. That was a very good one. That one was hilarious. Mm-hmm. Um, and who else do we have? Probably Marv. Marv Abbey. Yeah? Yeah. Anytime he's on as well, have a good time. But yeah, I'd, I'd say those three come to mind straight away. Um, when- Shia was good as well. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> we've done a few. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just started and it's coming out of the No, oh my God. Yeah. I'm actually just thinking about it. We had some. Last year was good. It was a good year. Last year was actually good. This year has even started off great, so Love hopefully that. it can continue that. Yeah. Yeah. Shout <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Shia. Yeah. 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 Shout out to Shia
they're at a standstill. Like they reach a standstill. Yeah, and it's not even that we reach a standstill. It's just very slow growth. Like yeah. it's just steady slow growth, yeah. which is fine. Mm. But it can get it can get better. Yeah. You just gotta stay consistent. Yeah, you just keep going. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's why I always say to people whenever people ask for advice and whatnot, like. Mm. Just be consistent. Like, yeah. make sure you're doing it because you want to do it. Because otherwise, it's hard. Yeah, especially if it's coming out of your own pocket. Like yeah. You do. <laughs> and you know, as a creative as well, yeah. trying to do something that you don't want to do, our brains just switch off. Yeah. Like, we're not involved. You can I'm give as much here. as you can, but I'm not like. I can't do it. Yeah. Like, I try. I, like, there's certain things that I've been mean, like, yeah, I'm going to try and do this. Like, when crypto was dying, uh. I remember <laughs> there was one point I was trying to read everything. Mm. Get knowledge on all of that and I was like Bro, this shit is boring bro. You want me to sit and stare at my phone screen or my laptop? And all of that I tried it like yeah obviously during that self employed on employed. Oh yeah me too. So- <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't want to do I don't I'm just about past my maths exam. It's bad so I'm trying to do yeah. all of this stuff but I'm seeing it bang for others but I, it can't bang for me because I can't put my all into it. I can't do it. Yeah. So that like, just through life, you, I've learned. Yeah, if I'm not on it, I'm not doing it. Point blank. Don't Point blank. Force it. Don't yeah. force it. Yeah, yeah that's a big one. Nah, I'm not. And if anything, that can backfire because people would take that as your work ethic or mm-hmm. what mm-hmm. you're doing, yeah, and then be like, "Well, this person doesn't work that well," but really, probably just said yes because of a bag or whatever, whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's not your true representation of your work ethic. Yeah. You're just not in it. Yeah, facts. Yeah. Mostly people. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right. Why is this book smart people? Oh, uh, we'll get there. Don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> I just looked at it. Everybody I was just like, this is book really so smart brain. people. <laughs> <laughs> I had a BMZ on chat. BMZ, I don't know if you watch BMZ podcasts. Yeah, yeah, I love them. Um, the episodes will be coming. Well, actually, by the time this is out, the episodes will be out. Mm. Um. And the book was just out there lurking the whole time. And throughout the whole point, I kept seeing them looking at them. I'm like, I just looked down now and I was like, wait, hold on, what is that? Panicked. Do you know what I'm saying? They panicked. Like, they were like, listen, we're not here for this today. The smart people do. I read out some riddles for them. Teddy riddles at the end of my. Yeah. Actually, funny enough, Fred's and Tammy inspired me to do that. Oh, yeah. Well, Tim's um, Fred's riddles. Yeah. And I had Fred up and he was like, oh, what, do you write it yourself? And I was like, no. No. <laughs> you don't read that. <laughs> Because it's like, 
I've never been somebody that says, yeah, I wanted to be the best at this and be mm. number one podcast, blah, blah, blah. but now when it comes to it, that's what I want, mm. which is strange to me because it's like, this is something new to me. Right. Because when we were, all this time we've been doing it, I've just been like, yeah, man, I just want us to be able to live off the podcast. 100%. That's it. Just live off it. Yeah. Now I'm like, nah, man, we're fucking sick, bro. Yeah. I want to be the best podcast. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's bad. It's actually uh-huh. bad, but it's uh-huh. it's like when when I sit down and because I do our editing, can you imagine, like you do your editing for your podcast as well? Listen, <laughs> I, I actually love it. Oh, I I hate it. You hate Please. it, but I yeah, I love it. Oh it's God. so mad. Like, do you know how much easier my life would be if I loved editing? Oh. I love it. I guess because I'm a videographer, yeah. I'm used to editing. Yeah. I like just shutting off into the dark. But I've done a lot of work for other mm. people and I've been like, this is a job. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like how you probably feel is how I feel sometimes and I shouldn't because I actually enjoy editing. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. But when I'm listening to our podcast, obviously I've just been in the room, but I'm cracking up like these are new jokes. Yeah. So and that's what that. that's what made me proper be like, no, we're fucking sick, man. Yeah, we are. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we're fucking cold. I'm editing my own shit, laughing yeah, exactly. at jokes. Yeah, and I'm dying. like you probably said. Like, <laughs> hearing deep comments and being like, oh, yeah, that was a bar. Yeah. Like, yeah, but anyway, yeah, where I want to be is I think uh, we want to be the best, and that we're, we're going to just keep continuing to grow, continuing to sort of um, uh, hopefully work with more brands this year. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, man, just take it as far as it can go. Yes, yeah. I love that. I'm excited to see you lot's journey. Like, I really am because you, Nighty's Babies, and I would say Half Cast are like the two. Shout out, Chucky, man. Shout out, Chucky, we love. We love. We just love you lot. We love everyone around. Right? <laughs> just here to spread love. But um, you guys were probably the entry point for me. Mm. Like, uh, to be a lover of podcasts. I love just sitting there and li- and I'm somebody that I, I'm not the type to have a podcast playing in the background. No, I'm sat there and I'm enjoying it and I'm laughing and like I'm a bit of a weirdo. Sometimes I pause it and be like, that was a bit bad. Or like I'll just start chatting to my speaker. To yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's cold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a conversation with Poet um, the other day. And I said to him, I was like, you have no idea how many times I've watched your podcast. And I paused it and I screamed my opinion to the screen. Yeah. Like, because I feel like I could get involved. Yeah, do you know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And I love that. Like, not many, not many platforms can do that for me. Mm. So. Yeah, shout out Poet as well, man. Yeah. That guy sent me a lovely Christmas message, man. Oh, love we love to see it. Yeah. This is what I'm saying. We're here to spread love. Yeah, after, man. You, know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, love can come in many ways. Money. <laughs> 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 but, um, yeah, I love that for you guys, and hopefully, inshallah, all the greatness that comes from it, you guys get to earn and live the way that you want to live and build what you want to build. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. you know, we're all we're all we're all trying to we're all a part of the same mission. We're just doing it differently. Yeah, Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we're all just trying to get out. Yeah, exactly. Live that life. <laughs> she gets something scary, <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm excited for you. Like, I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. <laughs> you, can, you can go right now. <laughs> you know I'm tapped. I would be that person. Like, Let's go right now. We can do this. Oh my gosh, right? Can you flick your through these pages, bro? You know what? I'm the worst. Let me find something. Let me find a page that I'm looking for. Uh, what? what? Yeah, it's okay. These are some. Yeah, he's <laughs> I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to turn on my riddle brain. Yeah. yeah How? Where are you in the riddle spectrum? Do you feel like you're quite knowledgeable? I'm okay, you know. Yeah. I, I feel like even um, when Fred did his riddles, I got I got a few of them. But you see, like when someone makes up a riddle, yeah. Mm-hmm. The answer could really be anything. It could be anything. It yeah, could, yeah, yeah, yeah. It could really a be lot anything. of the time, when Fred makes up a riddle, I feel like a lot of the time back in the day, I would say the answer, and Tim would say my answer was better than his answer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> so technically, I'm really good. You're right. <laughs> Basics, but because I'm getting the pros in the room. Okay, I'm, saying, 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
water high. If I go over an item, it's over and done. Mm -hmm. If I go under an item, it's priority number one. Hmm. This, this is, to be honest. The answer's mad. It's a bit like. But it's worth the. It's worth a line. Yeah. I'm the best, man. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm actually just the best. What made you pick a line? Because when you like you, when you're under, yeah. When you underline oh, something, you that's what. See what I thought. I thought you draw a line. <laughs> no, I don't know why. I, as soon as you said um, yeah. under an item, I thought underline. I don't know why. My oh, brain. You, you know when you're like a, a genius yeah, and yeah, that, yeah. you just go. Do you know what I'm saying? This is not his first time. Oh, wow. so what's that one for? Should I give you the first one? You could. Yeah, you should. I should? Yeah. Should I? Okay. <laughs> have just begun. Mm -hmm. What am I? Ooh. Mm. A wave? No, but you're on the right track ish. A tide? No. That's <laughs> like <laughs> I just started thinking of water related words. <laughs> tide? <laughs> I'm on the a surfboard. No, but you're on the right track. It's some sort of uh Equipment for the water. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you can build one of these. A raft. Yeah. Yeah. I shouldn't have said that. I don't know. No. Why do I you know what? I was gonna go there next. Well, anyway. yeah, I, I promise you. That's why it came so quickly. All right. Yeah. Why would I? Think, you said you could build one of these. Yeah. Do you, I couldn't. You build a boat. boat. You could. You're not building a boat. Oh, you think I can build a <laughs> raft? <laughs> No. <laughs> Brav. The 
there's so you much you can find. Yeah. You're like, look, the way you're thinking about it is wrong. It's not um so deep. What's in the middle of nowhere? Think about the word nowhere. What's in the middle of that? Somewhere. <laughs> no, I, I don't know what it is. I really thought you had that. Where? What? No. <laughs> which one? Which one of the words am I finding? You were just interested. Now you should be embarrassed. <laughs> oh wow. No, nah, I don't think I'm gonna get this one. Are you sure? Find in the middle of nowhere. Come on. The middle of nowhere. The middle. Of nowhere. <laughs> you will find. You will find. Ah, ah, ah. Nah. I'm. I'm not gonna get this one. I don't think. Have you got one more clue? Do you want another clue? Yeah. Um. It's not a tangible thing. Okay. Not that that helped. No. <laughs> not that you kept saying nowhere until I was saying that really didn't help. Ah, well, it's the letter H. You see? I hate this. Simplicity. I'm dyslexic, so I would never have got that. I'm dyslexic, you know that? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, that. I thought that was at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> Is it not N-O-H? <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Even if it was N-O-H, it would be Kano. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. Oh man. Oh my god. I did well though. <laughs> big up myself. Let me start big up some page. <laughs> big up yourself. Ugh. It has been an absolute pleasure. Yeah man, that was fun. I appreciate you so 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 much for jumping on. Oh, you have a lot to me. Is there anything you want to plug? Obviously Night's Babies is already there. Yeah man. Yeah, at 90s Baby Show on all platforms, you know, go yeah. check us out. Check um, at BP in the Cup, follow me on socials. Mm-hmm. I'm going to start posting more on Instagram this year because, you know, I have Absolutely. to do that. Yeah. And all that Let's wait and see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll obviously do my gaming streams as well, so if you're a gamer, follow me on Twitch at BP in the Cup. Do my streams there and on the 90s Baby's channel as well, so yeah. Sick! Oh my god, guys, it's been an absolute pleasure. Make sure to check them out. All of their info is going to be in the description, as their socials, whatever, whatever. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications belts on, or whatever the word is. You see, Better I'm do not, it, I'm, you know. You know, I'm not. You've got to do it. Like, comment, and subscribe. You know what? I'm going to cut my whole bit out and just play it back. Listen, <laughs> play it back there. There's no joke. I know you enjoyed it because you're at the end. Huh. So if you haven't liked it, you're taking the piss, bro. Piss. You're actually like, taking the piss. Comment, subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend. And yeah, guys, I will see you soon. Bye.